A food war has been raging for decades. It's not an obvious war, and most people don't even know we're in it. There are people fighting on all levels though, and in the most unlikely of places. Like this one, in Grand Central Market. Kwang Ah and his wife Mina Park operate their food stall Shiku inside one of LA's busiest food halls. Welcome to Shiku! Oh man, I already <laughs> feel like family. Shiku, which means the family you share food with in Korean, might look like it's just serve and take out, but there's a lot more under the lid than you may think. This is beautiful. I love wow. your stand. Thanks. It makes me feel like just in a moment I'm like in Korea, like in Seoul or uh, at the market. Uh, or, oh, that's great. Yeah, we were yeah. inspired by the we Korean from, market. By Kwangjang Market yeah, and stuff? Exactly. Yeah. My husband Kwang is in the back, actually. Right. Yeah, he's so back. You can... oh, hi, I see you. You can't hide from me. <laughs> Roy's coming for you. I know Kwang from, from a previous life. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Let's talk about this space a little bit. This is like my comfort zone. This is, some people may say this is a small kitchen. Very small kitchen, yes. But I call it just right. It's like a cockpit, you know? So what is the food of shiku? Shiku is more like a home-style Korean cooking. Yeah. So this is basically kind of doshira. Yeah, doshira. So when I was growing up... That means lunchbox. Yeah. Every Korean mom usually say the most important thing is love. Because Love. all the mom, they wake up like at 6 o'clock and yes. then they make them. Yeah. So that, that's why we choose the shiku, yeah. That's beautiful. So today, we're going to make kennip jam, which is different, you know, but... Uh, and then we're going to make kind of sauce, kind of dipping sauce. Uh -huh. uh, something like a kennip chimichurri. Oh. Something like that. <laughs> so... Let's go. Okay. Shiku's meaning goes way beyond sharing a meal. Mina and Kwang are also sharing and preserving Korean vegetables that are being lost to factory farming. So the perilla leaf and the gochugaru, the chili powder, are coming from the seeds from Kristen, who we will visit. They work with farmer Kristen Leach in Davis, California, to protect endangered seeds and grow ingredients that they feature in their lunch boxes. Kimchi corn, scallion, garlic, also a little oh, okay. bit of So it's a reinforcing of flavor, yeah. and that's all in here already. Yeah. Okay, got it. Pan fry. Pan fry. Yeah. Wow, that's a beautiful plate. Huh? You put some of the chimichurri in there, right? Yeah. Is that clear? And then just eat, right? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I, had to, I had to pull out the cabbage rice for that. That was so good. You guys have purpose in everything you do. It's not just home cooked machinen makbegi food, but it's also you have purpose behind that, going back to the sea, right? You know, we want Shiku to really amplify Korean food, Korean ingredients, and kind of broaden uh -huh. people's knowledge of what it is. And so we're inspired by people like Kristen uh -huh. of Second Generation Seeds, creating this relationship over time. Um, really over our passion for Korean vegetables. So what's so important about preserving Korean seeds here in the U.S.? All the indigenous Korean seed now is owned by something big corporate company. Oh my God. I think it's a global issue. It's yeah, happening issue. in so many different countries, actually. Yeah. You have corporates kind of controlling the Buying seeds the seed. for farmers. And then often seeds are engineered in a way so that they are you know, optimized, yeah. but that's not necessarily good for the land yeah. or good for us or, you know, the GMO. Mm -hmm. not GMO. These things are, they're our future. They're yeah. our future that we must yeah. protect and cultivate. Yeah. Diversity. Exactly. Diversity. Yeah. Because we don't want to all end up like a science fiction movie where we're all one Unit. <laughs> one unit, one species, yeah. all yeah. programmed the same way. Then if they're continuing to only feed us what is controlled by them, yeah. then three or four generations from now, they'll never know what it was like to be diverse or individual yeah. or anything, right? Well, it's the, to have a vegetable that tastes, that tastes so delicious and is not just engineered wild. to yeah. you know, stay on the shelf for a long time. What do you use so far from the seeds in your cooking? So we started growing Kristen's Skenny. Uh -huh. um, and so the genit uh -huh. um, was made using yeah. her genit. And we also grow her peppers, and it, there was a pepper in the uh -huh. chimichurri. Oh, the pepper um, too, yeah. And then, yeah, the uh, gochugaru, uh -huh. the dried chili flakes, and oh, then yeah, there was the a fresh pepper too. in there. So. 
all these seeds yeah. somewhat produced all of this. Yeah.